Can a trailer tap dance? Hi, my name is Derek Liu, here with a review of the trailer for Swing Kids. If you haven't seen this trailer yet, click the link down below in the description. Swing Kids is a Korean 2018 film set during the Korean War, where soldiers at a POW camp set up a tap dance show as a diversion from the war. The trailer opens on a wide shot of the prison camp. In the second and third shots, it quickly establishes the theme of rhythm via a character counting out beats. The fourth shot is of tap dancing feet. This trailer gets to the point and fast. From the first four shots alone, we know tap dancing in Korean prison camp. After the logos, there's a voiceover by the protagonist about how the sound of tap dancing makes his heart race. Now, I haven't seen the film, so I don't know whether to give credit for this editing to the film or the trailer editor, but it's a great way to get us into the protagonist's frame of mind. He sees rhythm everywhere he looks, and his love for it is all-consuming. There's a match cut of him about to do a kip-up, which cuts to him standing outside. The trailer pauses in this moment to give the audience a breath. This title card emphasizes the idea of rhythm, resets our palette, and transitions to the shots of him practicing day and night. The music, prison's alarm, and his feet continue the rhythm motif. He discovers a group of people in a building with a stage, they hold out some tap shoes, he's ready to go. Now that we're past the introduction, an obstacle is introduced. Call me boy, you wanna dance? I dance? You put yourself at risk. And just like that, we're already segueing to the climax. If you go on that stage. The trailer builds its climax to the sound of drums. A spotlight for a show is ignited, and the group is ready to perform. There's a montage of people dancing, getting beat up, a fire, and a crowd cheering. The cutting increases in pace until the last footfall on the stage. Music stops. The protagonist turns around. Will the audience cheer? This is a wonderfully edited trailer. Everything about it emphasizes the rhythm, sound, and images of tap dancing. Really, the bare minimum this trailer needed to do in order to get its point across was combine tap dancing with the setting of the Korean prison camp. The hook of that combination is so unique, it can turn heads in a single sentence. The visual storytelling is also incredibly potent. I feel like this trailer could have worked without any dialogue. It's not at all confusing to understand the sequence of images. Prison camp, man watching someone tap dance, man sees rhythm in everyday things, man practices tap dancing, he meets people, they tap dance together, he is confronted and held at gunpoint, there's a show, there are images of violence and struggle, and the show finishes. That would have totally worked on its own, but the dialogue adds a bit of insight into the character and a clearer understanding of what's at stake. The execution of the trailer's editing takes it to another level entirely. I love the ebb and flow of the dance and the breaths. The dance scenes range from slow when he's practicing to the high intensity of the final performance. And the title cards both emphasize the themes of the story and act as the breaths to punctuate the tapping. Breaths in trailers are important because in allowing slash telling the audience to take a breath, they both provide a break while also telling them something big is coming. There's an inherent intensity to tap dance which keeps me on the edge of my seat, so the breaths are welcome. And the final climax set to the sound of drums and tap dancing is the longest and most intense in the trailer. Like the protagonist, I can feel my heart racing up until the final moment. And the trailer cutting to the title before we hear any audience reaction from the performance is perfect. We can't help but want to know what happens next. This is a fantastic trailer. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed my first video trailer review. I occasionally write reviews like this for my weekly trailer newsletter, so if you enjoyed this, please sign up at makebettertrailers.com. If there are any other movie or game trailers you're interested in seeing a review for, please let me know in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed watching this, please like and subscribe. Thanks, and have fun!